Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei season 2 episode number 11. Okay, the previous episode, it was one of the best episode of this season. Um, we met the strongest person in this world, Osted. Even though Technic God is at number 1, I think um, according to uh, Hitogami, uh, Osted is probably the one who's strongest and he can because of the curse he's been like you know like his his power is a bit lesser but he is the strongest person in a way he can basically destroy the whole world without even trying to so that's how strong he is so yeah we met that person and he almost killed us uh, <laughs> because you know because rudy kind of like started blabbering about hitogami when as soon as he was asked he was like oh hitogami he's the person who comes to my dream and bam that's it so we can understand that um Oste doesn't like hitogami at all he he even told rudy to tell him that he he's going to kill him eventually and all that stuff uh we met another character who is kind of in a mystery like in a still in a mysterious position her name is nana hoshi she basically helped us uh, in a way she told uh or said something about you know i don't know something when rudy was almost dying she told uh Orsted, uh about something related to rudy i guess and that's why uh, Orsted helped rudy out and he's okay now and uh, like that was like one of the most uh what can i say like tension filled episode like <laughs> Like, I wouldn't be surprised if anyone would have died in that episode, and that's what I was really fearing. Uh, thankfully, nothing happened. Rudy's okay, everyone is okay, and yeah, we're going to continue with our journey. Probably in the future, we'll meet Osted as well, and I really hope that next time that we meet him, it doesn't end like this. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, uh, let's get started. This is episode number 11, so yeah, without further ado, uh, let's go. So I'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is a preference. And let's get started. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god, what again? It starts with blood. Great. Oh no, what? Not this again. Wait, what's happening? Oh, that's wine! Thank God, I thought it was someone's blood. Wait. Is he dreaming? I think so. Oh, this, this window, we, can, we always see this window in the ending song, don't we? Oh my God. Yeah, obviously this is a dream. These three never met each other. Oh! Oh my god, what's with the music? Yeah, this is a, is a nightmare. Okay. Oh no! Oh my god, yeah. He, he has a big- Oh my god, he has a big complex about his... Original self and... Oh god, yeah, he's, he's traumatized now. What? Oh my god. Great. <sighs> mm, yeah. Oh yeah, Oster told it. Mm. Well, you need some explanation to give. Seven gods of the ancient times. Yeah, the whole thing with Laplace. 
and he doesn't know that i think yeah oh my god that's so petty like uh, what the hell is that yeah it's going to go away because you know he cut his hair and everything yeah and improving his reputation little by little is also going to yeah hmm that's crying this is the first time i think you see Okay. All right, back to our journey. Yeah. Oh. Nullifies magic. Okay. <laughs> True. I don't think he's going to do anything else after this, hopefully, because Nana, she told something to him. Wow. Like, it really baffles me how good this world is. Like, their world building is amazing. Like, it really feels like you're in a, you know, a whole completely different world. With so many things happening, so many kingdoms and stuff. Like, it's like you're in an open world RPG, like, going around places, like, you know, killing monsters and doing stuff. <clears throat> Oh, he's back. Oh my god, this is... Is this his house? I think so. Wow, this is what remains of it. <sighs> and it's gone. Everything's gone. Wow. This whole place is just gone. Oh, is it? Oh, it's that tree, I think. You know, the tree where, um, I think, Roxy trained him? Is that, is it, is this the same tree? Oh no, where, where Sylvie and he was sleeping, you know, laying down, I think. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's the same tree. Wow. My god, like... <sighs> okay, what do we do now? Probably look for Zenith? No, first we need to go back to Eris's place, I think. What? No, wait, what? Wait a minute, Rudy's supposed to improve your reputation even after this, so... Hmm. 
Yeah. Four centuries, wow. Oh. Yeah. It's his decision at the end, you know? <laughs> Wait, so he's really leaving? Like... Like, what's Rude even going to do after this? Like... Oh, the... Wow, it's been like, like like a whole season that we have been uh, journeying with him. Kind of a whole season. More than a season. Like we met Rijet like I think at the middle of season 1 or almost at the end. Now this is the end of season 2. Almost at the end of season 2. Okay, I think we're going back to uh, Edis' home. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, it's Glane! No! Oh no, it, it must be someone else. No, it's, it is Ghislaine! Oh, it's Ghislaine! Oh my god! Oh my god, thank god. Oh, oh my god. I wonder what, where she actually got teleported to. Oh my god, I think they're going to talk about Saurus. Oh no. Uh, yeah, he she realizes something is... Oh god. Wait, what? 
Wait, what? Oh my god, what? Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we saw that. Oh god. Bailmon. What the? Bailmon. Oh, great. The people have been found, I think. What so many? Oh, God. Silf, I'm sure Silf is. Yes. Wait, she's been found? Wait, she's been. F no, wait, what? Oh, see, she's still not been found, okay. <clears throat> oh, God. Mm. Oh yeah, wait, is the birthday? Yeah. Oh my god. Whoa, what? Yeah, the whole thing with...
Oh my god, what the? Wait, oh my god, I realized what she said. Oh god. <laughs> ah. Well, obviously, because it's, it's, it's this situation, like, what? <sighs> Oh my, wait, what? Oh yeah, the whole fascination with cat girls they have. The first time she apologized. What? My god. <laughs> um, or, wait, really? Oh my god, it's really... Okay, well, um, this is sudden. I was not expecting something like this in this episode. Like, I guess I was not even expecting them reaching Fitra so quickly. Like, I thought it would probably take a while later. But seeing that it's almost the end of the season, I guess this is appropriate. You know, them coming to the Fitra region and... Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> oh, my God, Rudy. Ah! <laughs> okay, Rudy. Ah. Uh. I'm a normie. <laughs> okay, where's Eris? Um, <laughs> he says that. What the? Wait, what? She cut her hair off. Wait, what? Yeah, wait, what's... To set on a journey with Ghislaine? Oh... Um... Oh my god, wait. No, no, she... I guess she, she just decided to... No, she said that we're not... Uh, wait, ma well matched now, I think. Like, is she... I'm guessing she's... Oh, maybe she went with Ghislaine to, I don't know, like... Get even stronger or something? Is that why she... I guess it's something like that. 
Otherwise, why would she go with Ghislaine? My, and now there's no one with Rudy now. Like, what's he, he even going to do? Dreams and reality. Oh my god. Wait, that's the end. My, okay, this episode. Ha. Huh. So many things happened. Uh, okay, first of all, that weird dream, obviously, where we see everyone's there. And, like, this really shows how Rudy has the, the whole complex that he has about his past, his real life, you know. Um, that... As, as I've said before, that unless and until that goes away, he he's going to probably keep to you know, continue to have the inferiority complex and all the other stuff, all the other, um, you know, like the way he looks at himself, like he is very like he he has no confidence in himself. So that's one thing that we have always like you know at least up until now as I've seen Rudy, I realized that he has no confidence in himself at all. And that really reflects to the way how, like, you know, probably he looks like in the, the all the time when he goes to meet Hitogami, that's probably why he looks the same way, you know, the way he looked in his past, because he's still not able to accept his new life, his, you know, he has still that complex. And this dream really showed us that, like, you know, he sees that he comes, he returns back to his original form, and everyone is just there outside the window and like you know he, he's been left alone and funnily enough like you know uh like uh not funnily sadly enough that's basically what happens in this episode like he you know like by the end of it we see him alone all alone and that that really means that yeah like there's there's no one here who he knows like you know properly like no like you know Rujet went away eris went away glenn is not here anymore neither Sylphie nor anyone like mom dad no one here so yeah he's all alone now now i don't even know what he's going to do now like he i thought like you know like as, as far as i had i i thought i thought he's probably going to come to a fit is going to know about you know like the, the whole situation then they're probably going to go and try to find um uh well, Zenith, Zenith. Yeah, I know that's how it was, going, it was going to go. And Sylphie as well. So, but now, like, you know, there's no one here. Now, he has to do everything on his own. <clears throat> so, yeah. And I think the thing that happened by the end of this episode is probably going to, I don't know, like... De make him depressed like that's probably what's going to happen after this like he he will need time to actually get up and stand back up again uh, because you know like he, he he his personality is like this he he's unable to he probably won't be able to accept this and okay anyways we'll see but yeah the whole dream section and then we come back to the fitwa region uh, Rudy visits his house, remembers everything, what happened and all that. And, like, everything's just gone. Like, you know, it's like, no, nothing is, remains here. It's just a big wasteland with, you know, burnt down houses and everything. And now, I have to say, I was not expecting to Rujit go away. I thought that they were probably going to, like, you know, Rujit was going to hang around unless and until... Rudy, you know, completely cleared his name off of all the things that he did and his reputation went better and better. Which I have to say, it kind of happened. He His reputation is getting better and better. And as Hitogami said, like since he shaved off his hair, uh, the curse will also probably lit, little by little go away. So <clears throat> that's something, I guess, but in a, you know, in a positive direction. But yeah, like, I was not expecting him to just, like, you know, go away like that. And I guess, you know, he's, as he said, like, his duty was to bring them back to his, their hometown and that he did. And I'm sure he's, he's probably going to start on his own path and, you know, like, try to make everything better. And as he said, like, let's meet again. I'm sure we'll meet him again, probably in the future. 
but yeah i'll be waiting for that like it's been as i said it's been a whole season we've been journeying with this uh party like you know aries and Rijet. like i really i have to say i really like i'm sure everyone everyone got attached to them and um like you know the whole thing with roxy and sylphie in the beginning now obviously like you know like as they say the more character development you have with people the more you spend time with people the more you kind of prefer them and i i have to say i pro probably prefer aries more than sylphie and roxy and like you know currently because of this the character development that they went through and the spend time they spent with each other and like obviously aries has always been my favorite from the beginning because she's a redhead sundre <laughs> So yeah, but still, like, you know, like, even the way she kind of, you know, like, progressed, her character development went through, and, you know, the way she became stronger, the, the time she spent with everyone, like, that was, that was really one of the, like, you know, greatest character development we saw, like, both Eris and Rachel, alongside Rudy, and, uh, yeah, like, obviously, like, I prefer Eris a lot more than, like, you know, the other heroines, I think uh, Roxy and uh, Sylvia are the heroines, obviously, isn't, aren't they? So like you know more than them as well like you know i probably prefer eris more but now that eris is gone i'm guessing we're probably going to meet all the others like roxy maybe maybe sylphie we're going to find sylphie later on so yeah like i'm guessing now like you know like the whole character development arc for eris is kind of ended we're probably going to get more character development with the other characters after this because i'm sure like he is definitely going to meet someone after this so probably one of the girls who knows uh, my guess is like you know sylphie because you know she i'm sure like after this he's probably try he'll probably try to go and find sylphie and as far as i know roxy is almost at the other part of the world so it will take some time for roxy if she decides to come back so within that time i'm sure rudy won't just keep sitting down he's probably going to try to find sylphie if he feels find sylphie before that before roxy come then we're probably going to get like a little character development with Sylphie and then Roxy later on, hopefully. So who knows? But yeah, my guess is we're probably going to meet Sylphie after this. We'll have to wait. So okay, that was that. And Rijet goes away. All right, and then we like you know like we go back to um no wait. Wait, uh, I'm, I think I'm mixing the name of the places up. What, which is the Fitto region? Is, is the place, uh, no. The place where uh, Rudy's house is, is that the Fitto region or is that the Asura? No, I think that's the Fitto region, isn't it? And, and, the, and the place where Eris lived, that's the Asura kingdom, I think. No, oh my god. I'm mean, I'm mixing everything up. Let me just check, you know, Asura Kingdom. Asura Kingdom. Um, Asura Kingdom is... Okay, it's a kingdom holding the world. Hmm. Oh, wait. Asura Kingdom is like the... Oh, it's the whole place. All right. And within the Asura Kingdom is the Fitwa region. Yeah, okay. So what's the name of the place where Eris lived? Uh... I'm not sure, but I think... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm guessing uh, Eris probably lived in like the central part or something, you know? So yeah, so the whole place is called Asura, Asura Kingdom and within the Asura Kingdom, there's Fitwa region, okay. Uh, which is obviously Rudy's place. Anyways, okay, so yeah, we go back and we can see like, you know, refugees and everyone, like, you know, there's like the, the whole thing. And we find Ghislaine here, which I'm, I was very surprised. I thought we we're probably going to meet Ghislaine later, on, Ghislaine later on, because we had no information about her up until now. And suddenly he, she pops up here. And that's something that I was really, like, you know, surprised. I thought we were probably going to get, like, her side of the story a little bit. And maybe they're going to meet within, like, you know, in, in, in the middle of their journey or something. I was not expecting the meeting to be like this, you know. Like, they just, like, when, when, when they, they're going and then we see, like, you know, Ghislaine. At the beginning, I thought that, oh, this will be, like, that cliche thing, you know. When <laughs> anime characters kind of look at someone and they think that, oh, this is that person. And when they go and, like, you know, 
like kind of tap them on their back and like call them and they turn around you see this is a completely unknown stranger i thought it was going to be something like that but no it, that really was Ghislaine. <laughs> so yeah I, I was really surprised suddenly meeting Ghislaine like that but yeah i knew Ghislaine would be fine she's strong you know and you know like then the butler was there as well and then they talk about the whole thing saurus and another shocking thing happened here i was not expecting philip and uh, I think her name was Hilda. That was the name of the mom, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, Hilda. Philip and Hilda. Both of them, so they, they, they died. They passed away in disputed territory. And Gillian confirmed that. I was really not suspecting that. Like, like Soros, like we already saw that. We knew that that was coming. But suddenly, like, getting to know that Philip and Hilda is not there anymore wow so yeah Eris also lost his whole her whole family everything like rudy still has family left obviously like, you know paul um uh norn uh, lilia uh aisha and probably zenith is there somewhere as well hopefully she's alive and okay so but it's just that they're not together with him but for Eris, they're dead like, you know, they, they won't be coming back anymore. I'm, I'm guessing the only family that Eris has left is Ghislaine now. Like, no one else. Like, oh my god. And Rudy, you can say, you know, like, like he's kind of family to her. So, yeah, and then, the, the, like, the whole thing with suddenly, like, you know, they start piling that, the whole, like, problematic thing, like, Lord... Philemon, Noto's Grey Rat, wishes to take you as his con concubine. Why? Why the hell? Like we already met one of the, um, like you know, most irritating character in this show. That is, uh, Pax, and now this another pile, <laughs> Pilemon, <laughs> Pilemon, whatever. You know, this guy. He 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 suddenly like you know like this whole thing, and God, like that whole thing and Eris is like just give me enough time like you know give me time like i want to like you know she wanted to mourn a little bit and all that and we still get to know sylph is not found and then comes the next scene of whole the whole Eris and rudius scene you know Eris telling that rudius become my family all that and like you know the whole i turned 15 <laughs> like as rudy as rudy said like it, the, the promise was that when i turned 15 I've still not turned 15. But yeah, like I'm guessing like, you know, like I'm sure Eris had already made plans of going away with um, Ghislaine. And it's just that, you know, for the last time, I guess. Now, then we see whole, that whole scene, you know, <laughs> like the whole <laughs> kittens, my God, <laughs> the way I've never heard. <laughs> I've never heard a line like that ever in any anime before. Like, what? <laughs> My god, like, their fascination with, like, you know, cat girls. God. Oh. And, you know, like, yeah, we see, like, you know, that scene happens, and then... In the morning... <laughs> Rudy wakes up, and Rudy's like, Ah, hello world, I'm so happy, I'm one of the normies. Yay, let's, like, you know, let's just meet up with my <laughs> girlfriend and just, you know, like, like I'm, I'm the happiest person here alive now. And bam, he, he opens the blanket and Eris is gone. And her hair is also cut off. And now here's the thing. Um, I think this was the better decision because the, for two reasons. Number one, the whole Paimon thing or Pilemon, like, you know, like if Eris stayed here, that would have been a problem. So she's gone from here. I doubt, like, you know, that, that Pilemon was going to do anything is like, you know, like that whole situation is she's going to get like, you know, involved in that. No whole, no, like, you know, that concubine thing won't, won't happen after this. So that's a good thing. And, you know, she, I'm pretty sure she went uh, together with Ghislaine because she wants to train more. And become stronger like she already has her basics down uh with um uh, regis training now galane is probably going to teach her even more and yeah like that's number one one number one thing that i'm glad that she's gone you know like 
that the whole Pilemon thing won't be happening. I hope so at least. Because I doubt Pilemon is going to like, you know, like like she went together with Ghislaine and nobody knows where she went except the butler. So I hope that the butler doesn't actually like you know leak that to someone, you know, because we did see him being concerned about the whole kingdom as a whole. That's why he said that yeah, if it's necessary you will have to go with like you know become her his concubine. And hopefully he doesn't do anything like you know like go and tell Pilamon that yeah Eris is there or something i doubt he's going to do that he he seems like a nice guy you know a nice honorable guy he was just he was just concerned about you know the whole kingdom and he probably won't do anything like that and even if he tells like you know someone or it gets leaked out where Eris is i'm sure glenn and Eris would be handle will be able to handle like you know like any people who are following them or something and they'll be able to run away so yeah that's number one reason why I'm glad that she went on a journey, you know, the Pilemon thing. Number two, um, she she's probably doing this to become stronger. And I'm glad that she's doing that because um, she needs more improvement. And I think the whole encounter with Austed probably made her realize that, yeah, I'm nothing. You know, even the reject who is so strong, he just like, you know, he was just one shot at by Austed. So I need a lot more to improve and you know, so that next time if we meet Orsted, we're able to survive. Just like how Rudy is also kind of training, you know, to survive from Orsted if they meet again in the future. But I think Orsted probably won't do anything in the future. Hopefully. Because he seemed like a nice guy. It's just that he doesn't like Hidogam. That's it. And after Nano, she probably told him something and he helped Rudy, you know, like heal Rudy. I'm sure even if they meet, it won't end up in an encounter or in a battle. But still, you know, better safe than sorry. So, yeah, training. They need to do training. And that's number two. the number two reason why I'm glad that she went with Ghislaine. Because, you know, she's, she's probably going to come back later on getting more stronger and something. Because the, her letter actually said... Now, now, here's the thing. Rudy completely misunderstood this situation, I think. Like, he takes the letter... Here it is. The letter says, you know what? I think the letter was written in a really weird way as well. Like, here's what the letter says. You and I aren't well matched right now. Um, I'm going away. Like, like, what type of a letter is that? Now, here's the thing. The letter says that we are not, not well matched right now. The key point here is right now, you know? I'm sure Rudy probably miss, like, didn't even look at that and like, you know, mislooked at that completely. And he's like, oh, Eris dumped me. And, but I don't think that's what happened. She, she just went away with Ghislaine because she probably thinks that she needs more training. And she's surely going to come back later on. But obviously Ghislaine, uh, not Ghislaine, sorry, uh, Rudy with his, you know, the past experiences and everything and his self like you know his inferiority complex all that stuff and obviously the situation in itself like you know like not having anyone around you who is your friend or who you're acquainted with is probably like you know a big stressful thing and not probably it is a big stressful thing like at least eris has Ghislaine with her but there's no one here with rudy like so yeah like all those things combined Rudy is heartbroken and like you know like he's like oh did she dump me abandon me like no i i doubt that's what she did i'm i'm, I'm guessing she just went with Ghislaine to get stronger and she'll come back hopefully i'm sure she will later on you know like she's one of the main characters so yeah, but I will miss Eris, you know, like, as I said, like, she, like, you know, she, she was already kind of like one of my favorite characters because Red Hat Sundre <laughs> and, <laughs> and seeing, like, you know, her, like, you know, her character development alongside Rudy and everything, the whole, you know, little uh, journey we had in itself, it, it really, like, you know, made me fond of her as a character. So I'm sure we're probably not going to see her for quite a while. I think so. Like, she just went away on a journey. So it's going to take a while. 
but you know what but uh mushoku tensei has this whole thing of like you know years going by within like one or two episodes so <laughs> like you know they they, they they give like the time skip there's like a huge time skip happens in mushoku tensei and who knows maybe we're going to meet her sooner than i think you know maybe like after two or three years she's going to come back and that'll be like obviously it'll be in the next season and i'm sure we're going to have a new season and it'll probably take like five or six episodes or something like you know like five or six episodes after that like you know three years have passed <laughs> and it just comes back or something maybe that's what's going to happen who knows so yeah but i think we're probably going to i'm guessing next episode rudy is going to be depressed yep that's what's going to happen i'm sure of it it is going to be depressed and i don't know probably like you know it's going to take for him like one episode for him to kind of jump back in into action and after he like you know uh after he gets his bearings i'm, I'm guessing he's going to start looking for his mom and Sylvie. so that's what's going to happen probably we'll see but yeah that was it that was uh, this episode and uh, yeah that was i have to say it's like a bittersweet episode and uh, yeah i'm going to miss eris and rigid as well so <laughs> so yeah that was it so that was my reaction to mushoku tensei season 2 episode number 11 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with the final episode of this season and um i'm sure i'm very sure that we're going to have a season three because this is one of the most popular like you know series i think currently that's gone going and i'm really glad for that because this deserves it as i said like mushoku tensei has has it, it has such a great world building such a great foundation that it, it really kind of makes it different from all the other isekais i've seen i've never seen an isekai with this amount of detail in in the world building like god like this is like a whole i don't know it feels like you, you you're like in a really in a new world with so many things so many kingdoms so many places so many characters and like it it, it makes you feel small you know like getting into this show watching this anime makes you feel how small we are in this whole place like i've never like you know seen an isekai that makes you feel that you know it like looking at the world in itself i've never seen any isekai which, which makes you feel like oh like we are so small you know like seeing this makes us feel that like we see where rudy is and we see the whole world like what vast this place is like you know like they're going to the demon continent and almost at the other place like you know other uh, section of the world in the opposite part of the world they come back and everything there's so many places uh within like you know in, in the middle of that journey and like hats off like the, the adaptation is pretty nice as well i have to say i it, it's very normal paced and i feel like this this is really one of the best shows currently and i'm really glad it is deserving of each and every like you know thing and um, i'm guessing it's pretty popular in japan obviously it's, it's going to be popular in japan because in japan people read the light novels and you know and i think uh, mushiko sensei light novel is already ended so it's also going to be very popular in japan but i think in the western you know like anime community as well this is very popular so yep yeah, we're surely going to get a season three i'm i'm quite sure of that hopefully and this has like you know this has no um like you know like oh it's going to catch up with the manga oh it's going to catch up with the light novel this is i don't think this has that problem as i said light novel is finished i think so yeah hopefully it happens quick that's the thing you know because even though attack on titan was so popular and when it first came out it took like i don't know like two or three years i think to, for season two to come out but then it started picking up pace but I guess Attack on Titan had the problem of it catching up to the manga, which this doesn't have. So yeah, hopefully we get a new season and hopefully that happens soon. And hopefully we get an announcement in the next episode. Usually in the final episode of Animus, they kind of do that, you know, announce the next season. Hopefully. Um, because yeah, this is one of the best shows. I really love it. And I would love to see the whole story, you know, being animated and little by little going through the journeys and experiencing everything so yeah anyways that was it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with the final episode of mushku tensei season 2 until then goodbye and have a nice day